Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to find a let's say solution for the following problem. Let's create a script and let's say we want to create a new child node and we call this obfuscation. Inside this obfuscation we create a child node obfuscate that py and we are going to write some code so for example we have a script which is basically looks the following way valid user valid password and then it will get the user from the input give me the username and the password which is coming also from the input give me the password or you know what let's make it more professional let's open from get pass the get pass module uh, the get pass function and just use it here okay and we say that if valid user is equal to user and valid password is equal to password then we say that access granted otherwise we say access denied let's save it and create a new terminal navigate to the obfuscation folder and run it so python 3 i said run it so python 3 obfuscate.py admin admin and you can see that access was granted so the basic problem with this script <coughs> is that anyone who has the source code will be able to use this source code. One thing that we could do is to use a module to obfuscate this uh, information. And for that, I have already revealed <laughs> the topic, we could use PyArmor. So PyArmor is compatible with even the latest Python module and a uh, Python version and what we can do is to create a virtual environment obfuscate ing. and let's activate obfuscating activate that fish and we can use the pi pip install pi or more so once this is installed we could use this module to obfuscate the script so pi or more obfuscate dot py and let's use the gen now if we check this folder we got a dist folder let's go back to our neovim editor and we have the nerd tree refresh root maybe yeah and we can go and check the dist so inside the dist we will find our script which is called obfuscate dot py and this is how the script looks like after obfuscation and if we want we can run this script and it should work the same way as the not obfuscated version so let's try to run it this obfuscate dot py and admin admin and it's working 
if I make a mistake, it says that access was denied. And uh, this PyArmor module also has a web UI. So pip install PyArmor web UI. And if we want, we can also use it. So PyArmor web UI. And if we go to our local host on the port 1996, let's open up a new window. You can see that we have a nice UI that is going to allow us to obfuscate a script. Or we can obfuscate a project and so on. If we go to the obfuscate wizard, we can go ahead and check our script so obfuscation and and here we are going to go and this is going to be the obfuscate.py and we can select whether we want all the scripts in the source path recursively we want only all only the script that was specified and now we can go ahead and obfuscate and basically it was saved here to the same folder which we have seen before so technically this is what I wanted to show you in this video I think uh, you also have the option to deobfuscate so pi r more and no we don't want deobfuscation so technically this is a one-way solution and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more see you in the next one